the age of 82 years young, our next guest is diving even deeper into her career as an author. Ruth C. Howard joins us now to discuss her remarkable life and what to expect in her latest novel. Good morning, Ruth. Welcome to the Morning Blend. Good morning, and thank you for having me here. I mean, of course, you know, I, one, we love meeting people. We love meeting authors. Uh, we have so many books that we want to have be able to talk mm -hmm. about, but we want to talk about your life, too. Yeah. I mean, you say this is your final career because you've had a few careers in your day. Yeah. Introduce yourself a little bit. Well, okay. I'm Ruth Howard. I started out in a little town called Woodstock, New York, which you've probably heard of. Oh, maybe. And it was a great place <laughs> to grow up. And then I became a classical singer and sang in an opera house in, in uh, Germany. And uh, went from there to, I can't tell you <laughs> how many other careers. And finally, when I got down to ten, uh, Sarasota, I did like everyone else and got into real estate. <laughs> And then I went from there to teaching bridge, the game of bridge. And then mm -hmm. finally, when I did my family history, that got me going on, uh, on writing. And I just, I've, since then, I've written a bunch of novels. I just enjoy it. So uh, what was it about your family history that you were able to discover that you thought, now I'm going to dive into being an author? Because I enjoyed so much writing it. I enjoyed researching it. And I talked to my mother. I taped my mother's history when she, before she died. And then we found a bunch of letters after she died that we didn't even know were there. I mean, it was just the most fascinating thing. So I decided I was going to write and I just do research on various things. And I was gonna say, the research that you were able to do on your family, that's quite fascinating in itself. Yes, yes. Actually, um, I have uh, copies of, the uh, passenger list when they were coming from Germany. They both uh, left Germany in time they, to get away from Hitler. And uh, then they, when they got established over here, they brought over a lot of family members. So it was very interesting. And I can't tell you how many times a family member has said to me, oh, I'm so grateful to your parents. They brought my parents over. And, you know, I thought, oh, isn't, you know, that's really wonderful. So but, in all of your books here, are you able, do you, do you dive into that aspects of, of history and research? Or no. what's your genre of passion, if you okay. will? Okay. I really use my life experiences and people I know. And uh, of course, I change them around <laughs> as much as I can. And uh, for instance, one of them uh, is a character I knew at the bridge table and I didn't like her, oh. and she turned out to be a real meanie. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so I did those kinds of things, and I do that with everything. And my current novel, which is being published now called Table for Eight, is about uh, four couples, eight people. They meet on a cruise at the dining table, and they get to know each other, and it's, it's fascinating going to, trying to find things for, to happen to them, and it takes a while, you know. And what I think is so fascinating, you you started writing what age? About 77, 78, yeah. 77, 78, that's when most people are like, I hope to be retired and, and doing nothing at that point. You're reinventing yourself as an author at that point in your life. Yes, but I think now I'm ready to retire. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but it's it's been, a, it's been a great ride. I love it, I really do. So I think I need to use this opportunity to ask, what is the next book in, in the works? There was another book that I never did publish and that I'm going over now. It was always my favorite and it needs a lot of work. And so I'm working on that. Well, most importantly, where can people find your work? Well, first of all, I have a website, www.surpriseruthchoward.com. Well, you got that part out. Yeah, there wasn't that something? <laughs> and uh, I have excerpts from most of my books on there so people can read a bit and see if they're interested. Well, you know what? You can definitely tell you're passionate about this. The books are great. Great <laughs> meeting you. Visit our yes. website if you want more information. Ruth, thanks so much for coming in today. Well, thank you for having me.